Hey sidekicks, welcome back to another 100 Days of Making Comics. Today is day 20, and today I've been working on page 4, specifically inking it, and I found it was a little bit tricky in some in some parts, because um, I, I think the nature of the panels are a bit like, um, you know, cramped in. I was trying to like introduce the villain in, a, in an interesting and mysterious way, but I did find I was struggling a bit to keep the inks from like being too chaotic and too messy, I guess. And I think partly, partly I didn't do a good job, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't complain um, overall. I think the darks are there and they're serviceable and the... I like the eyes, the like little tendril eyes things I did. Um, they're weird. They're kind of, kind of like weird antennas with like pierces that I just made up. And I think, you know, they're a little bit different from my uh, my current design at the moment because I'm not really happy with it, with how the villain's going specifically. Um, I think, and that's why I think if I wait until I reveal her at the end, I can flesh her out a bit more um and I find that's pretty handy so I think I'm okay with it for now um I thought about briefly about what kind of audience I might want I know um yeah and I guess that's a hard hard thing to think about in a way because it's sort of unconscious you're thinking unconsciously about like things you like and what you're interested in and how you can translate that to an audience. Um, not sure how that goes with most like cartoonists, but um, I know I don't like want it to have like sort of uh, um, patriotic, true blue Australian as, as we call it over here. And because like I think most cartoonists over here are most well known for being uh, political and having doing caricatures and having their opinions be conveyed through that style, you know. I mean, it's probably weird to, like, pick out consciously. I don't know if Sonic's creators wanted to pick out their fans, but it's what they have now. But, you know, I think the same for things like Final Fantasy or, like, just to certain types of video games and stuff like that. Like, they don't always get to choose their fans because they're trying to, like, get their game, like, exposed to a whole number of people, just thousands even. Just whoever will play their game and stuff. And also, it's the same for comics as well. Although I, I don't have much knowledge into the, uh, you know, the broader fan base of, like, comic communities. I know, like, superheroes are big for one thing. But yeah, I think it's an interesting topic to think about. Well, maybe it's not so much that I have to think about it. I just, personally, I don't want it to have, like, you know, Aussie slang. And I don't like it to be... I wouldn't like my work to be too Australian, if that makes sense. That's just my personal, like, preferences. So, nothing wrong with just being Australian. I guess I don't like labels. At least not the time, you know. Not the ones that don't suit me. But, uh, my cat is just really scared of birds for some reason. She, they can't hurt you. Shut up. <laughs> and, you know, the funny thing about, like, fans is, like, it has a community aspect and it can be fun, you know, to share like your art with people who take interest, you know, and build your following and you can engage with them, you know, as most like um, social media allows, like in the present. It's pretty extraordinary and uh, I guess in time it'll, um, if I get more fans, it'll uh, they'd be definitely interesting to interact with them. But anyway... Um, in other news, I booked my hotel for Sydney in June for Supernova, and um, it it was funny. I was thinking about um, uh, I I used like a PayPal option because I uh, did a recent commission and and I think the money I used in that commission ended up paying for the hotel. So I kind of want to say in a funny kind of way, um, like. <laughs> Hotel accommodation sponsored by such and such. <laughs> I just thought that was really funny. But yeah, um, gave myself an order. All I have to do is get the ticket and then get the coach, like pay for that in order to get down to Sydney. Um, but I got plenty of time before then. 
and uh yeah don't know what else to say at this point so um hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit like and if you want to see me complete this challenge hit subscribe also hit the bell notification so you're notified every time i upload a new video and once again i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> cheers